Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a tip on how to animate your objects quicker inside of Articulate Storyline. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm inside of a project right now, and this project I actually imported from PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and add on some audio, and we're going to add on some animation as well. So I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to click on audio and we're going to find the audio on my desktop and then go ahead and click on import here. Now we can start animating our objects along the timeline. However, I probably want to listen to my audio file. This is where I can actually save a whole lot of time. So if I can see these different bullet points and I know that these different things are going to come in at different times, what I can do is listen to my audio and then insert a cue point at certain times in my audio, and then I can animate the different bullets to those different cue points. And so what I do, first of all, is I come in here and I click on play. Now, as I start to listen to my audio, I'm going to have my finger by the letter C, and as this audio starts to play, every time I hear a new sentence or a new point come in, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the letter C. All right, so now I'm going to have these cue points. I may want to adjust them a little bit because I may have hit the button a little bit after the audio starts. So you may want to come in and just clean that up a little bit just by sliding those cue points into place and having those all ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and add on the animation to our text. So I'm going to select my text and come up to the animation section, go down to the add on the animation, and we're going to do fade. If I select fade, I want this to also animate in from the left. So I can go down to effect options, click on from the left, and then click on effect options one more time because we want to have it animate one paragraph or one bullet at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and then come down to by paragraph. Now with that selected, I actually have this new triangle that's actually popped up on that text. And I can go ahead and select that drop down box to see all of the text there. Now, each of these items have been separated out by a paragraph here. So I can take each of those items and I can start to time those up. So if I come in here and say, okay, this is going to be one, this is going to be two, and so forth. However, there's a quicker way to do this. If you right click on the item and go down to align to cue point, you can now select what cue point you want this to start at. So this one is cue point one. Actually, this one would be cue point one, so I can do that. This one is going to be Q.2, so I'm going to select Align to Q.2, and then Align to Q.3. Go ahead and make sure all of them, that one is 4 actually, so let's change that back to 4, and then 5, and then finally 6. Now I have some other ones, but I just added 6 Q points, and so you can do the same thing, but you can see how quickly this is to to align these different bullets to the different cue points. Let's go ahead and see how this is looking now. So you can see I did not actually align these items, so I still need to align those items to different cue points. But you'll see that other things will come in at different times of the audio. So it really just takes listening to your audio file once, adding the cue points, and then aligning those objects to the cue points, and that's it. So that's a quick tip to hopefully save you some time when you're animating objects to audio inside of Articulate Storyline. If you want to check out other tutorials, go to my website, learningdojo.ninja, hover over Udemy. You can see courses on Articulate Storyline 360, Captivate, XAPI, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope to see you in the next one.